Hi friends, it's Amanda. Thanks so much for being here and watching. Joining you today for more Pink Fresh Studio inspiration and I'm using this darling photograph of my two sweet children and both collections today. So I've got the Just a Little Lovely Pattern Paper Hope and the Office Hours isn't that lovely that gorgeous coral pink color and um, this one is called busy so using both of those pattern papers taking inspiration from this sweet tag that I've actually fussy cut already from pattern paper story which is also from the just a little lovely collection and today I thought I would use one of our fabulous brand new cut files because of course pink fresh studio have now launched their own cut files in the shop and this one is called the lovely tag cut file and you can see it is a really lovely tag gorgeous speaking of gorgeous I'm going to fussy cut that divine trim Ta-da! I love the magic of video so much quicker <laughs> there we are and I'm actually going to use some colored cardstock today I'm going to use that gorgeous coral pink color look at that and you can already see with the white that peachy pink and the mint just how pretty this is going to be so another really gorgeously girly lovely page my two darlings you can see I'm going to add in that softer tone there and I've gone ahead and back to that cut file and you can see I actually cut away the eyelet that was featured in the tag so that it looked it looks more like a banner now so yeah I went ahead and did that and using that excess cardstock from before I've also backed the leaves so really really pretty also coming in with this is that pattern paper story I was using before coming in with the purple from that so I'm going to cut that little bit off because I just need just a tiny bit and that's what I've got left in my supplies so that will work and here we go oh you can already see just how pretty this is coming together already so that tiny little pop of purple because of course we want to tie in with the tag that I was taking inspiration from so there you go so you can see there's that little pop of purple with the mint as well so very very pretty um yeah <laughs> I just can't get enough of um particularly the just a little lovely collection it really is stunning more inspiration here again from that fussy cut piece using that lovely little veneer sticker that's such a cute embellishment that one isn't it and of course the just a little lovely acetate florals because who can say no to them you can see I picked the gold side initially but I'm flipping and going for silver yet again I'm having a bit of a silver run at the moment this is twice I've picked silver over gold foil not really sure why but um, it just felt better I felt that the gold was really rich and elegant and perhaps a little too um, dominant with this softer color palette so yeah opting for silver um, but that's the great thing about the acetate shapes isn't it you can flip them either side so that's looking very pretty just arranging it all at the moment and having a bit of a play with what I think I'd like to do with this design some of the washi tape pieces I thought I might incorporate them because they're identical to the pieces on the you know I do love repeat design um, and because they were the same as that on the tag I thought they'd be quite cute but I don't think I end up using them I do want to stitch that top piece of the tag but before I do I'm just going to stick in now that lovely edge and I've just flicked up some of the pieces on the side as well so it has that little feeling of soft texture and dimension and I'll just make sure everything fits in nicely and I'll probably glue that large cut file down now so you can see even though it was designed to be a smaller cut file a little tag just changing dimension on things gives us so many options doesn't it and that's what I love about cut files is that really you're only limited by your own imagination aren't you so such a really cool way to incorporate cut files into your layouts and of course just something different like it's a really to be honest it's just a large banner but it works so well so yes I'm very impressed with the new cut files and they cut like a dream they're really really pretty but just easy that there, there's nothing tricky about the cut files they're all you know not not too intricate they've got that pretty look but they're not too much so you can see I've just gone and stitched that tag on top I apologize I didn't film that part there um, my sewing machine cord doesn't quite reach to where I film so that's already done I'm going to rest my photo there and start rearranging those pieces making sure that I am happy 
with the design and see I fuss a lot on this sort of stuff <laughs> here we go let's get that piece on and you'll see I only use the tiniest amount of tape for acetate because otherwise it does show through so just a really small piece here and there or often where I can hide it um, if there's a section where a join will be then you won't see it so of course I'll use those to my advantage um, glue would probably work as well but I find glue tends to lift after a while I prefer tape and just fussing that piece in making sure I'm happy with where that's sitting of course because once it's on <laughs> it's on mm, I'll sit that there for now so we're just going to fuss around a little bit longer really decide what I'm doing for my photo cluster and I think I'll frame out my photo and just getting my photo in place now because I think it's really important um, before I go any further to actually be sure of exactly where my photo will be positioned because of course my photos are my story on my layouts. I, I always journal at the back of my layouts so it's really important that yeah that I've got the right level of dimension and and the right position and then I can build from there so um, yeah photo is so critical to me that it is that focal point always on my layouts I, I want you to see my photo first and um, I have opted for a black and white photo today as well because it really does cut through that very sweet color palette that we've opted for but um, I'm also very partial to black and white photographs I do love black and white very 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 pretty um, yeah, black and white photography has my heart. Um, so there we go, a foam mounted and it's looking lovely. I just need to embellish with a few more of those acetate blooms now. And I do like that that one has the leaves bending in because of course they are sitting in the cradle of a tree. So I think it's lovely. There we go. That's a nice touch. And popping in a die cut ephemera tab tag that one says today and of course it just ties in beautifully because yeah it's that lovely mint green color I do continue to persist with these little washi cup pieces but um, in the end I think I leave them out <laughs> I do love this one though because of course it is the repeat pattern that we've used for the fussy cut mint piece to the left of the page but it's also a tag a tag or a banner piece just like those we've already got on the page so yeah double repeats and I love that little hint of wood veneer as well because just a new element and a new um yeah just yeah a new element a new a new feature I guess to the page and something different and a highlight point so popping that tag in now just making sure I got it under my photo and still trying to use these pieces but I I just can't they're just they're beautiful and they do work but not for this layout so coming in with my title on the side using those lovely white puffy alphas and my title is going to say always so embrace that is you always be happy always yeah always together better always when together I don't know it just always worked so there we are speaking of puffy stickers I'm going to come in with a few more now using these gorgeous florals again in that purple to accent again on the layout design so popping them in very very pretty there we go I like that a lot purple is just really stunning and probably add one or two more I think yes that one there we go see I knew there'd have to be at least one more <laughs> oh well or do I use that one uh, tossing up here there's too many pretties isn't there and uh there we go put it on <laughs> there that's better so you can see it's already coming to life now my layout 
Um, oh, I like that better there. Some, see, this is why it's good that I don't press things down straight away. I like to, I know, I know my own behavior. I like to wriggle things around and, ah, uh, that's even better again. Yes, now it will stay. I really like it there. Um, framing my photograph similarly to how we've framed that banner as well, or the lovely tag cut file, I, sh I should call it. Um, yeah, so looking really, really pretty. And it could be finished now, but of course, you know, I do love those finishing touch pieces. So coming in with just a few more bits to finish off with. And while I don't journal on the front of my pages, I do love a sentiment or two. So I'm going to use these ones here. But of course, I don't want to stray from my color palette. So I spent a bit of time off camera picking out the ones that worked. This one's, of course, said forever and always, and that can tuck into my photo. And yeah, because there's some gorgeous colors in there. They, you know, there's that lovely fuchsia pink and there's a sunset kind of orange and there's some yellow and um, a more creamy pastel pink and some really, really lovely ones. But um, I wanted to stay in keeping with the color palette that I'd selected for today. So just snipping that one up to make it fit where I want it to go. And... Yeah, just tiny. There we go. That's better. Making sure they're straight. See, that's important. And those finishing touches, of course, for me, it's going to be with those beautiful new essentials jewels and crystals. And I think this one, these are these ones are the crystals actually. Um, and I picked out the purple because, of course, it's that gorgeous accent color. It pops beautifully against the coral and the mint. And oh, just so pretty. So I'm just going to glue those pieces down and there you go. So lots of beautiful close-ups coming for you in a moment, but I hope you've had lots of fun watching my process today. It's certainly, it's a joy. What can I say? It is absolutely delightful to create for Pink Fresh Studio. And I hope you've had lots of fun watching. If you've got questions or comments, pop them down below. Thanks so much for liking, subscribing and all of that stuff. And have yourself a wonderful, happy, arty days. Bye.